for her vacation. Oh, I didn't see that's that. Odd. Yeah. I think there's a different book called Mr. Christmas, and yeah, he it's down it's there. Either. He's got the teapot. Yeah. Good memory. Thank you. I'm just gonna be making my notes. I can make. And we'll be back <laughs> until the day before Christmas Eve, so you have to make sure you finish wrapping the last of the presents. Little Miss Christmas reminded them just before she boarded her plane. Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. We'll have all, we'll have them all wrapped long before you return. What country so Santa, from? Boom, Santa Claus. Well, I just wanted. The next morning, after a breakfast of Christmas pudding on toast, Santa led Mr. Christmas into the lab. Morning. Wow. Said Morris. Morris's brother Victor got a hockey outfit. Morris's sister Rose got a beauty kit. Morris's other sister Betty got a chemistry set. And Morris got a bear. All Christmas Day, Victor played hockey, and Rose made herself beautiful. And Betty mixed acids. And then Betty made herself beautiful. And Victor sorted test tubes. And Rose played left wing. And then Victor made himself beautiful. And Betty played goalie. And Rose invented a new gas. Morris was too young to play with chemicals, said Betty. He might blow up the house. He was too little to play hockey, said Victor. He might get hurt. And he was too silly to use the beauty kit, said Rose. He would waste all the lipstick. Nobody wanted Morris's bear. Come, of the rest of them. Come, said Morris's mother. Let's make a hat for your bear. Nope, said Morris. <laughs> Let's take a bath for one, <laughs> <laughs> Morris's father. No, said Morris. Morris wouldn't eat his dinner. What's the matter? What's the matter with Morris? <laughs> asked his father. I think he hit himself with a hockey puck, said Victor. Maybe he ate the lipstick, said Rose. It was the gas, said Betty. He breathed it in. <laughs> <laughs> Morris sat under the Christmas tree. Suddenly, he noticed a package that had been overlooked. He opened it. In it was a disappearing bag. Morris crawled right in. Morris, said Victor. Right here, said Morris. Where, asked Victor. Where's Morris? asked Betty Rose. Over here, said Morris. But they couldn't find him. Maybe he blew himself up, said Betty. Do you suppose he's so beautiful we wouldn't recognize him? asked Rose. Dad, shouted Victor. Morris is skating so fast we can't see him. Morris came out of his bag. Where were you? asked Victor. I was in my disappearing bag, said Morris. I want to use it, shouted Victor. Me first, said Rose. You can use my chemicals, said Betty. Morris held up in his bag. Everyone disappeared at once. Then he zoomed. <laughs> and mixed. And beautified. Until bedtime. Bedtime, said Morris. May I use the bag tomorrow, asked Rose. I want to sleep a bit tonight, said Betty. Morris, I hope you remember where you put your bag. But Morris was already fast asleep. The end. Yay.